What do you got? It looks like a piece of finished wood. While excavating at the southern border of the Oak Island Swamp, Billy Gerhardt, along with other members of the team, have just unearthed what may be an important discovery. It's very smooth. It seems really polished. I mean, I can't see that happening naturally. I'm going to toss it into you. It seems like a pretty solid piece of wood. That's beautiful, actually. It looks like a handrail. Or the top of some balusters. Yeah, the top of your ship, right? Around, uh, around your rail, right? Yep. Part of a possible ship's railing discovered in the Oak Island Swamp? Could it be connected to the nearby Stone Road, believed to have once been part of a ship's wharf, and also offer further evidence that the swamp was once an open harbor? Hey, look at the rounded corners on that and everything. That's like it's been sanded down. That does look like a rail. And Billy's saying that we're on something down there that we're not getting down to the bottom. We can't get to the sand. There's wood or something at the bottom there. Some, something blocking us there, yeah. Something down there, quite deep. A large object blocking the excavator's ability to dig below where part of a possible ship's railing was just recovered? We're good to go whenever you guys are good to go. I'm more than ready. I think the swamp has answers, and I want them. Two years ago, after conducting a seismic scanning survey across the entire swamp, Rick, Marty, Craig, and the team were astonished that a 200-foot-long anomaly that eerily resembled the shape of a massive sailing vessel was detected in this same area. It's very unusual. Well, it's not just dork around it. <laughs> Would it be S-H-I-P? Would that be what everybody's thinking? <laughs> Although subsequent drilling was unable to reveal any definitive proof of what the object was, is it possible that the team may now be close to finding out? This is pretty exciting. Scott, why don't you give Rick a call? Yeah. Here's another piece of it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Found another piece of it, guys. This is a nicely worked piece of wood. This is crafted, and it looks like a railing. There's something down there keeping us from digging deeper. The bucket is sliding along something, and it's not rocks. If we can get eyes down there, I think we're going to find a lot more. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. So this came up from quite a depth. I mean, it looks to be quite a, a uniquely finished piece of wood. You put your hand around it, Ricky, and it's that feel, you know? Who do you think you're the guy to ask? This looks like a finished piece of wood. This is out of place down there, for sure. It, it looks like railing. It looks like ship's railing. And it looks kind of square hole there as well, which is a good sign. Uh, so there would have been a square fastener there, making it old, if there's an old iron fastener. Virtually every time we dig in the swamp, we find something. Um, we haven't found the answer we seek yet, but, but it clearly played a role in what happened on Oak Island, and not just in a small sense. I have that at 10 feet below sea level. That's deep. We haven't been able to get by whatever's down there obstructing us to get to the bottom. We haven't reached bottom yet. You're scraping on it right now? Yeah. Can you see anything in there? No. no. You can't get close enough to the hole. Why not? It's all slumping in. It's really unstable. Where is it in relation to the, to the hole? The whole length of the hole. We have to find out what that is. I've always believed that there were some answers in the swamp. It's the keeper of secrets, you know, even as a young child. I remember looking at the little map on the Reader's Digest article and thinking, why is, why is that swamp there? You always wonder, what's at the bottom? What's down there? I still feel the same way about the swamp. What's down there? What's it hiding? Look, you guys are you're making a great case that there's some answers down there. So whatever it takes, seriously. It's a great find, and it presents all kinds of possibilities. I wish it were 9 o'clock instead of the <laughs> latter part of the evening. But it's time to call it a day and come back with a plan tomorrow. Mm. Very cool. Yep. Very cool. Good eyes. Great. Tough pocket find. <laughs> <laughs> Good and Billy. <laughs>